I gotta ask you, what is wrong with this data? So if this says I'm 39 years old, retirement age of 26 and a life expectancy of 38, something is wrong. And the main thing that's wrong is the spreadsheet accepted it. So if I was doing some math here, the math would be a complete mess. And what I really want to talk with you about is differences between Google and Excel. That's what we're talking about. Data validation. This helps control inputs in a spreadsheet. What we'd want to do is let's get rid of this 26. And I want the retirement age to be equal to or greater than the current age. Highlight these cells. Data validation. Whole numbers. And I want this to be greater than or equal to B1. And we want the dollar sign so that B4, B5, and B6 will be comparing itself against B1. Okay, so we want to stop as opposed to offering a warning we just want to stop people from being able to do it okay so let's put in four thirty seven five sixty seven eighty now we want to deal with the life expectancy and make sure that life expectancy is larger than the retirement age. I liked data validation, whole number, and we want this to be greater than B4. And we're not putting in the dollar signs because we want relative cell references so that C4 will compare against B4, C5 against B5, C6 against B6. Okay. 90, 55, oh, work, 100, and 67, Let's say we we'll live to 95. Okay, good. That works. Now, let's go to Google Spreadsheet. Current age of 39, retirement age 60, life expectancy of 90. So what if we put in a retirement age of 19 years old? Okay, Google Spreadsheet does have validation let's see how this works validation now see we don't have the option of tying this to another cell we have to put a number in here so I can say 39 and I wanted to reject the input And save so okay so it's not liking that number so let's put in 50 now let's put in 17 there's a problem okay good so now let's say instead of 39 I am actually 25 and I want to retire at 35 
it's not taking the 35. Why? Because the data validation is still looking at 39. And there's no way for me to go back in and say, hey, I've changed my age to 25. We can do that in Excel. Let's go back to it. So I'm going to say that I am 25 and I want to retire at 30. That's OK. Now I say I'm 25 and I want to retire at 23. No. Excel won't take it because it is looking at B1. It is not looking at a hard coded number. Let's look at pivot tables. Google Spreadsheet, Excel. We have this data. We've got cities and they all had a class. And these, these are the directors in the classes. This is the number of students and the revenue and each director so well phil had one city kate has multiple cities terry has multiple cities and we want to look at students and revenue by director and not by city this is a classic pivot table challenge we inside our range of data we go to data pivot table report and in rows let's put director in values number of students revenue as well good Lisa 11 Phil 18 Terry 45 okay good so now we want to add data We want to add Nashville, Atlanta, Omaha. Nashville is Anita. Atlanta is also Anita. And Omaha is Kate. 5, 18, 7. Seven hundred dollars, seventy six ninety, and four ten. Good. Okay, our formatting is not following. So use the paintbrush. Okay, so now the format is the same. Let's go to our pivot table. The data is not there. Um, there isn't a refresh that I see. Um, let's go to columns. Or let's see here. Got to edit the range. And the range should be. It should go to D15. D15. Okay. Right, so we do have Anita now. She has been absorbed into the pivot table. Let's go over to Excel. First, I'm going to put this data into a table. Insert table. My table has headers. Beautiful. Insert pivot table okay now I have the directors that I want to put in rows and then the student number values revenue Now let's go and add our additional data. Got the data in. Let's go over here. And Anita is not in here. Currently, we can 
refresh our pivot table and now we have Anita we didn't have to change the range it was just it was simple very simple there's one other cool thing about pivot tables that's possible to do in Excel but not in Google Sheets we're gonna make a calculated field so that we can calculate commissions we're gonna to go to field items and sets calculated field we want to call it commissions let's say this field of revenue times six point two five percent add the field okay now we know what the commissions are oh one more piece of data has come in we have Houston Houston is part of Anita's territory and there were 12 students and revenue of six thousand dollars we go back to our pivot table refresh everything updates the concern I have is that these kinds of things are not shown when there are comparisons between Google Sheets and Excel and I think that it's um, not so much that just regular folks don't need these features I think it's more to do with people not knowing what's possible people don't go around thinking about I need a calculated field I need an integrated spreadsheet so as more people become more aware of these types of possibilities they might think about these things and see that they would like to have them because it would control the inputs it would keep their data tight as you have something in Google spreadsheets and you allow people to say that they're 45 years old planning to retire at 39 Your data's a mess. Your calculations are a mess. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. So be aware of these things. You know, because I get that Google Spreadsheet is convenient. It does a lot of stuff. The Google team is constantly adding to it. But just be careful. And for the people who are offering these comparisons, be honest, okay? That's it. I just want people to know about this, take this seriously, think about the tool that you need. And if Google Spreadsheet is fine, then use it. But be aware that if you're doing anything serious with data, think about what you need. Understand that it can help you to be able to restrict cell inputs. It can help you to be able to tie a pivot table to a range that will flex in the background rather than you having to manually go and change it every time think about that and meanwhile go back to drinking my coffee from the Oregon public broadcasting cup later